Hi, I'm Dr. Dennis Durbin, and I'm a pediatric emergency physician, and I also co-direct the Center for Injury Research and Prevention at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, where we've spent nearly 15 years studying how best to protect children in car crashes. Today, I'm here to give parents information coming from the American Academy of Pediatrics on new recommendations to keep kids as safe as possible in the car. The AAP's new recommendations reflect the best science available in the field of child passenger safety. Following these recommendations will help you make the best choice possible to keep your child as safe as you can on every trip you take. The American Academy of Pediatrics now advises that infants and toddlers should ride in rear-facing car seats until at least age two or until they outgrow the upper height and weight limits of the seat. This information can always be found on the label on the back of the car seat. Once your toddler reaches the upper height and weight limits for a rear-facing seat, he should ride in a forward-facing car seat with a five-point harness until he outgrows the height and weight limits for that seat. Older children should ride in a belt positioning booster seat after outgrowing the forward-facing car seat limits and should remain in a booster seat until they are four feet nine inches tall which for most kids is usually between 8 and 12 years old. All passengers of any age should ride in a lap and shoulder seatbelt once they have grown big enough for the seatbelt to fit properly. Again, around 4 feet 9 or 8 to 12 years old. Finally, all children should ride in the back seat until they are 13 years old. The main change parents will notice in the new recommendations is that most children should remain in a rear-facing car safety seat until they are two years old. A rear-facing car seat does a better job of supporting the head, neck, and spine of infants and toddlers in a crash because it distributes the force of the collision over the entire body. For larger children, a forward-facing seat with a harness is safer than a booster, and a belt-positioning booster seat provides better protection than a seat belt alone until the seat belt fits correctly. Parents often look forward to transitioning their children from one car seat stage to the next. But these transitions should generally be delayed for as long as possible until the child fully outgrows the car seat that they're using at each stage. There are a few common questions parents ask when they hear the updates. One is, when should I turn the car seat to face forward if my child is small or large for his or her age? The age two recommendation is not a deadline but rather a guideline to help parents decide when to make the transition. Smaller children will benefit from remaining rear-facing longer, while other children may reach the maximum height or weight for their seat before two years of age. A common concern among parents is that leaving their children rear-facing longer will make their children uncomfortable or put them at an increased risk of a foot or leg injury in the event of a crash. Real-world studies show no evidence of an increased risk of foot or leg injuries among older children who are rear-facing in crashes. In fact, rear-facing children are as much as five times safer than forward-facing children when involved in crashes. Also, one of the added benefits of rear-facing is that children can fall asleep in a semi-reclined position. Children can safely and comfortably ride rear-facing until age two. A final comment we hear a lot is about booster seats. Parents are often surprised that their child still needs a car safety seat when they're eight to 12 years old. But here's how to think about it that makes much more sense. Seat belts in cars are designed for adults and the lap and shoulder belts do not fit children properly. If the lap belt sits high over a child's abdomen, she could sustain severe injuries to her abdominal organs. The booster seat keeps the lap and shoulder belts over strong bones where they were designed to be instead of the soft abdomen or neck. For more information about the new recommendations and the different types of car seats, visit www.chop.edu slash car seat. From that site, you can also locate a child passenger safety technician to make a free appointment near your home. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this information helpful in keeping your children as safe as possible on every trip you take.